Hey guys, it's Rosie, and in this video, we're making crock pot barbecue ribs. Now, this is the perfect recipe for those of you that do not have experience on the grill, don't want to grill, live in an area where they won't let you grill. You know, a lot of people in apartments can't grill, so any other reason that you can't grill, this is going to be the, re the recipe for you. So we're starting off with our ribs, and these are the ribs that I'm using. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the membrane. So get rid of that, you don't need it. Now I'm going to season my ribs, and I'm using my South African Smoke Seasoning by Trader Joe's. But if you have a different rub or seasoning that you want to use, by all means, go ahead and use it. Now we're going to roll up our ribs just like this, jelly roll style. And once you have it nice and rolled, like this, you are ready to add this baby to your crock pot. So let's add our, or should I say place our ribs into the crock pot and now it's time to spice things up. The first thing I'm going to add in along with my ribs will be root beer. Now I know that sounds funny but I'm just going to need you all to trust me on this. I haven't stirred you wrong yet, right? So just trust me on this. Once you're uh, root beers in there adding some water and now we're going to add in liquid smoke don't skip out on the liquid smoke this adds lots of flavor and you want it to taste as close as grilled as possible so add that liquid smoke in and don't forget come visit me at my blog at iheartrecipes.com you can print the complete measurements and instructions on how to make these ribs from there so now I let my ribs stay in the crock pot on high for four hours. This is what it looks like once I pulled my ribs out. We're going to add a little bit of sauce or a lot of sauce. It depends on you, a little or a lot. I'm going to add a little right now. So now I'm going to brush the sauce on the ribs. And once I have a desired amount, I'm going to place these ribs in my oven on broil for three minutes and you do the same thing to each side. I'm going to pull it out of the oven. As you see, it's been in the uh, oven for a while. I'm going to put more barbecue sauce on and I'm going to let it broil for three more minutes. So I did this on each side and when it comes out, this is what it looks like. It looks like it was fresh off of the grill and it tastes just as good. I wanna thank you all for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you need some side suggestions, I have you covered. I have a recipe for baked beans, as well as macaroni salad and other recipes. So if you want to check out the baked beans, go ahead and click that picture there. Or the macaroni salad, click that. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And come visit me at my blog at iheartrecipes.com. See you soon.